I'm Len Padilla and I'm the Director of Product Engineering here at NTT Europe. I've been living in Europe for about 15 years, working with NTT Europe for 10, and I'm in charge of the technical side of product development across Europe. At NTT, we've been working on virtualization services for a long time now. There's the, the traditional private cloud, which is virtualization services, but with dedicated resources. Then in partnership with Opsource, we're offering a complete public cloud offering, which is aimed at, um, well, which is aimed at rather technical users that are able to do everything completely self-service and with a very standard set of, of with a very standard set of tools can construct their, their architecture. Together with Opsource, we're offering a fully public cloud offering as well. It's an offering that's aimed more at technical users. Um, they're able to use the systems completely self-service to construct the architecture that they need. The big difference between them really is the services that are wrapped around them. Um, public cloud offerings are conceptually really similar to shared hosting that we've had forever. They, it's a set of technologies that are offered in very limited ways and if you know how to use them, if you know how to combine them to do what you need, you can build an architecture out of them. Um, private cloud is much more focused on the customer that needs a lot more services around them. Around a private cloud offering, we can wrap security services, storage services, application management services, everything that they're going to need to manage their application. The security services that we can provide are managed firewall, managed intrusion detection, log analysis, which we report through our customer portal, and even some managed authentication systems using RSA Secure ID, for example. The security services that we have at NTT are underpinned by a number of different certifications, whether it's the individual certifications that our engineers have on the systems that we use, or the general company-wide certifications. We've got PCI, which is the Payment Card Industry Certification, ISO 27001, which is an Information Security Certification, and ISO 20000, which is a quality certification which governs our methodologies in service management. PCI DSS, which is the security certification given by the payment card industry, and ISO 20000, which is the quality certification which governs our service delivery methodology. In addition to our private and public cloud offerings, we've got a hybrid offering that we call Compute Cloud. It keeps the shared infrastructure nature of a public cloud offering, but adds to it the managed services that you get in a private cloud environment. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about contracting the right amount of servers, physical servers, you only have to worry about how much resource you actually need, but you can still contract all of the added value managed services. You can have managed backup, managed security services, and application management. When customers are deciding which kind of cloud to use, whether it's the public cloud, private cloud, or the compute cloud environment, it really isn't which kind of company they are, it's more which kind of application are they running. If they've got very strict security concerns, they might be mandated by regulatory compliance that they have that in a private cloud environment, that they not be sharing any infrastructure with anybody else. There are a number of areas where they will use Compute Cloud or even a public cloud offering. Anybody who's running a, uh, a, a web-based application, um, offering it out to the public or even to an internal audience, is eligible for a, a public cloud environment. It's much more about the, the resource uses and the the constancy of resource use that defines whether they need it in a private or in a hybrid or public environment. So we've got a lot of customers that have many different environments. They've got their production environment, their testing environment, they might have an environment that they allow external parties to come in and test or evaluate, and there are different kinds of architectures that lend themselves to that. A company might have their production site in a private cloud environment where it's completely controlled, resources dedicated exclusively to them, but then for testing, for development, for quality assurance, even for business continuity, for disaster recovery, they'll make use of a, a hybrid cloud or our compute cloud environment. Uh, a digital agency named Rufus Leonard in the UK make great use of cloud services. They, uh, aside from their production site, they're able to rapidly spin up test sites for new customers of theirs which greatly accelerates their entire cycle. They're able to get customers on board, get them to approve their changes, and get those changes pushed into production quicker, which ultimately means a faster cycle of turning ideas into invoices. One of the really interesting things that our customer portal allows is 
really fine-grained user access. So within a company, they can define which users are able to look at monitoring, which users are able to create new virtual machines, which users are able to even create new templates that those virtual machines are based on. And with all of that information stored, it's available for any audit that the customer might have to go through. The progression for the use of cloud services um, within a customer is really the same as it's been in the industry at large. We saw that originally people were com comfortable using it for testing or development environments, basically non-critical environments. As they got more experience with it, as the tools, the management tools got better, therefore the, the, the qualities of service got better, they've been more and more comfortable using it for production sites. These days we see over 90% of our managed hosting quotes, including some form of cloud services. Yeah, we've got customers running all different kinds of environments. They're using web servers, application servers, database servers. By using the storable templates through our customer portal, they're able to create templates of their servers, store them, and deploy them in seconds. The cloud services that we offer here at NTT can be a great tool for a, co for a company's business continuity plan. The things that they need to do are similar in any environment. They basically need to move images of servers from one place to another and have them up and running when the origin site fails. That's something that's fairly difficult to do with physical servers and gets a whole lot easier to do with virtual servers. One of the really important things that allows us to deliver a good content delivery network service is our global network. AS2914 has multiple tens of gigabytes across oceans, across networks around the world. As the dominant domestic telco in Japan, we obviously have extensive networks throughout the Asia-Pacific region as well as the Americas and Europe. With Aviva, we host their, their websites that deliver all of their public information, mm -hmm. aviva.com and aviva.co.uk. In addition to the normal work that we did with them, we support uh, some of their campaigns. So they recently did a campaign called You Are the Big Picture, where they were including their customers in their public image, if you will. Um, a really good example was just here around the corner in La Défense, they had giant pictures of, of some of their customers. So this was obviously a campaign that got a lot of public attention and it was short duration and high demand. It's a perfect example of something that works really well with cloud services and content delivery networks.